under six months to go until the NFL draft, but some communities are already working to make sure that they look their best. Yeah, volunteers are out in the city of De Pere making sure there's a pop of color come April. Chris Nellen is out there live this morning. Chris, what are those volunteers doing? Well, volunteers with the De Pere Beautification Committee are doing some planting. They're planting daffodil bulbs in roundabouts and other areas uh, throughout the city. They've done a couple already and they also plan to hit the one here behind me. This is at South Broadway and Main Avenue, the roundabout there right near the bridge. They're planting those bulbs to bring a little bit of vibrancy to this city, hopefully just in time for the draft. And they started this project last week with a couple other areas at the roundabout on Ashland Avenue and 8th. There's plans to plant at the I-41 and Main Avenue roundabout as well and some other areas in the downtown. They expect to plant about 1500 bulbs throughout the city of De Pere. The beautification committee typically plants for summertime and also decorates the city in the winter. So the draft sort of falls in an in between period and they saw it as a chance to do something different. Volunteers we spoke with say it's an opportunity to attract visitors in town for the draft back to our community. We like to take pride in our community. That's why we volunteer and we do this. And, you know, it's to get people to think that's a really neat place and I'd like to go back there. There's something special about the Green Bay metro area. And you can also help with this project as well. There is a company that is selling a different source of plants and daffodil bulbs that you could buy if you wanted to plant them in your yard. And 25% of your purchase would go to the De Pere Beautification Committee. You just have to select them as the beneficiary when you go to order these. And so it, some of the money will go towards it. And it costs the Beautification Committee about $400 to plant in a roundabout like the one here behind me. So that is a big help to them. If you're interested or you want to learn more, you can go to our website. WBAY.com slash links. Reporting live in De Pere, Kristen Allen, Action T News.